take this as a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. However, there are four stacks. So I will be getting pretty close to your situation in regards of your blocks, your fears. We're going to be looking at um, where you're headed as well as we'll get some oracle cards and messages from the higher realms um, on your current situation with advice. So let's go with number one here. This is the Arcanium Tarot. We have Thalma. This is pile two or um, deck two. We have a Tarot of Dreams here, three. And we have the Fairy Doreen Virtue tarot cards okay so go ahead and pick your pile if you need to pause it please do so if you would like stones just basically close your eyes okay think of the person that you're inquiring about breathe out count to three breathe in now there's a picture and it has to be one of these decks okay now if you chose two that's fine you can do two but preferably choose one we have step one two three and four okay you guys hello my lovely souls so if you pick stacked one here we have um the arcanium tarot okay so we are going to be looking at um the situation regarding you and your person okay so we want to look at the overall energy as to where you are at in this journey with this person and we have the two of well the three of swords around some sort of commitment with the hierophant and number eight strength is definitely needed here okay let's keep it going spirit guides guardian angels wow okay so i haven't used this deck in a while they are blessed um we have the ace of cups we have the lovers we have the four of wands um we have the page of pentacles and we have the full card major arcana Okay, you guys, so this is a really strong energy here. Um, and I want to move this. So we know which one we have right here. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is someone who is feeling their emotions on high, okay? Someone who can contain their emotions. Someone who has taken this cup of love right here. And really, I feel like someone has just popped right on into their life and just blind spotted you. You know, this is like a blind spot. Um, wow, justice. Okay, justice. This could be a Libra you're dealing with. We have Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a younger Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We actually have um, pointing to Cancer, all signs though, necessarily. Uh, they could just be someone who just popped up in your life in general. Um, so where you're at, where you're at in this journey, um, you know, your current situation. So where you're at in this journey. So possible partnership here, but this partnership is, you know, um, it's like with the justice card here, there's a sense of not seeing the truth or weighing out the truth in the options here behind unconditional love someone's just you know just come right on in i feel that you don't want no connection or either you know they are just awaiting they are waiting or you could be definitely waiting as well but i feel like they're waiting for you know your answer as well um i do feel like with the chariot card here with is relating to cancer it's relating to movement motivation possibilities being um at your footstep you know this is taking a negative and a positive and turning it into a um running point you know but yet still feel trapped in the head knowing that you can only free yourself from the truth and why are you so hard on yourself right here okay i'm feeling like either you or this person is definitely hard on themselves um about you know if it's not going to happen, don't let it happen, okay? Uh, the emperor is right in the middle here. The emperor is about, wow, making bold decisions with the queen of cups here. Um, the page of cups and the two of pentacles. Okay, so this person is deciding. They have an ace of wands on the bottom of the deck right here. This is signifying, yes, there's a bunch of love. There's a bunch of attraction. Um, there's a want um for you to come for you know this love 
to take effect. Perhaps, you know, you were juggling something in the past. Maybe it was only one-sided and, you know, you wanted this person to be more, um, or they wanted you to be more into the relationship and they waited for you. Um, they waited strongly for you here with the emperor, okay? Um, it's telling you to love yourself first, okay? So with this energy, it's like, there's a need of self-love here, and they're saying that they'll definitely wait for you, okay? Because they have a lot of passion, especially with the Ace of Wands under there. And they're not afraid to show it. It's no secret. You already know this. They want to build a strong foundation. They said it's not as bad as what it seems, so don't make it. They also say they want playfulness with you as well, okay? Um, while you go through this retreat, while you are retreating, whether it is doing self-care and love, know that you do have chemistry with this person, okay? Um, let's see how your person feels for you sexually. Sexual magic. Okay, stack one, pile one. They are kind of tarot. Let's see what's going on. They want some sort of commitment behind you, Okay. And they want you to make that decision. They fear that you're going to put this energy off for some time now. But not only that, they also have a sense of fear of being twin flames, okay? And, you know, taking it in too much. This is exposing oneself way too much. Um, and they have a fear of that. However, they definitely desire you, okay? Uh, they know exactly who you are. They want to communicate with you. Um, they also have a strategy and a plan together that they do want to communicate. It could be a Pisces, however, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, this person loves looking at you, loves watching you, especially out in the woods. You guys definitely have a time together. There is a sense of moving into the right direction, okay? Your lessons are learned by releasing the past, and it takes time as you release the past. So that you can either let someone go who, no, who doesn't serve you, so that you can move into a stronger sense of relationship. Now, this is talking about loving yourself first, making a plan for a commitment, but you have to communicate that plan, okay, whether it hurts or whether it doesn't. Um, they fear that, you know, there's a lot of passion there, but what else arises from that passion is left in the unknown because here we have a sense of, you know, rejoicing and one's love and one's emotional background okay of excitement um we have a sense of uh, wanting to move together wanting to heal together but yet needing and understanding that you know there is a lot of passion behind this energy i want to get one card here okay so we i pulled the two cards so we have the well spirit and trust in the great mystery so trust in the great mystery as the ocean runs deep, so does uh, the wells in the ocean. So there's a decision that has to be made. And there might be conflict, but there's also a place where you can take that conflict and recite that to yourself so that you can come to a complete conclusion. So we have, if you've been ill recently, your guides bring you a message of regeneration and healing. So it's telling you also to stay home, okay? Trust in the great mystery of something, you know, um, evolving, okay? Um, the phoenix will rise from the ashes, so to say, and you could definitely be dealing with a Pisces, but their secret has been exposed, okay? Um, especially with the, um, the Hierophant, I mean, the Hermit, oh, that's Virgo energy. This is no secret. They have a lot of passion and a lot of love for you. Okay, stack one, thank you so much. Please like, share, subscribe. If you need a personal reading, contact me through email and I will get back with you within the next day. Hello, hello. So if you chose stack number two, this is Thelma Turret. Okay, so let's get into this. I love this turret right here. It's a beautiful turret. The Thelma. Um, okay, so it's more for divine feminine spirituality and definitely esoteric um it's quite fine to read although i find it to be a little glossy for camera however this is in regards to your person okay um we're going to be looking at your, the connection and how they feel um and also you know any messages coming through spirit guide through me um, as a clear channel so that i can give you the fullest message to my highest degree um 
and interpretation as well. So please keep in mind your person. Spirit guides, guardian angels, this is for pile two. This is a timeless reading. This message is for um, anyone who is tuning in who picked pile two. Turret. This is going to be around their partner. We're going to see the current situation when it comes to them and a significant other, whether it is on their relationship or just in general. And we're going to be looking at what guidance is needed to be taken. Okay, so current situation, but we have the High Priestess and the Four of Pentacles. Someone is holding off the secrets. It's like they know something. They're hiding something. Someone is definitely hiding from you. Um, not only that, it's like, I feel like they could be a Cancer or a younger Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Oh, but they're really holding on to something because it's very cherished. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the World card. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. So here we have someone waiting, okay? It's like, why wait, wait, wait? It's challenging to and for you to make things clear that, you know, there has been a completion here. And now it's time to move on and move ahead. But you still, it's like you still look back at, at the things that you had, knowing that there's bigger and brighter ways, okay? Um for you uh but as you look back and as you reminisce on the past you're starting to realize a whole new beginning here okay and this new beginning relies on the empress because the empress is definitely a divine feminine who is in their power this is a taurus capricorn virgo energy um we have fixed signs which is leo um scorpio taurus and aquarius however i'm really looking at strong aquarius with the six of sword here which is moving forward moving forward um, into a more spiritualization, okay? Getting more in tune with oneself on a spiritual note, on a spiritual level. I'm also sensing there is a tower moment, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could be a Scorpio. However, we got a lot of major arcanas here. So after the storm comes the star. The star is hope for guidance and truth so that you can rebuild, okay? And there is a page of cups. Someone is thinking about you, but yet you go within your mind set and you try to block this person out. Why is that? Why do you try to block this person out? Because you have so much love or they feel or you feel like you have so much love to give. But it's like there's something very strong here for you, Pile 2. Um, someone is definitely going to rush in, and it could definitely be a soulmate, unconditional love. This is someone from your past coming back in, okay? Now, whenever you flee a situation, I feel like you're going through a huge transformation that's going to wake up the divine feminine within yourself. But not only that, I feel like it's going to give you more balance within your masculine and feminine side. But what I'm sensing here is... Um, you know, we, there is a tower moment, but it's just a blessing in disguise. I feel like you've been waiting for this. Uh, so they're either, they're moving closer towards you, okay? Uh, they could be, um, while they're moving towards the sun, they could be a Gemini, Libra, Air, Aquarius. Um, they could definitely be... You could have children, you could have known this person since you were a child, but they're taking that negative and that positive and they're not feeling that pity anymore, but yet they're moving closer towards their um, divine partner, okay? So what I want to see here is some romance angel cards. So whether a situation needs to be... No, I feel like this situation do, does involve um, codependency, okay? So we have honeymoon. Wow. Okay, too many cards at once. I'm sorry. Too many cards at once. I can't. I'm not going to do that. It's messing everything up, you guys. Sorry. <clears throat> I don't read off the floor, however. Um, it says, love yourself first. I'm actually going to put this one up here because that one was the first one that came out. Spirit guides, guardian angels, this is for pile two for their love, in love, retreat, 
Some of you just need to go on a little vacation, okay? Maybe it is a getaway. Maybe um, to go work, uh, like a ministry, I'm feeling like. Um, maybe it is something that y'all can collaborate on together. Spirit guides, can you give me more insight onto religious factors? Children. Okay, so for some of you, there could be children involved. For others of you, this is acting childish. In a childish manner, in a childish way. It doesn't lead to anything, but... Um, let's get one more card for it. Wedding. Okay, so is this going to... I feel like for some of you, you're definitely getting to know each other and getting to know each other's ways, as well as expressing oneself. But there's a strong sense of... Uh, judgment. Wow. Okay, so we have judgment here. And judgment is a light, is that aha moment, is that phoenix rising from the ashes. It's a pure love and pure grace. However, going with pure love and pure grace, it's like you're being called to be um, basically open to fire sign energy, definitely. It says... Accentuate the positive. Let go of all doubts, fears, and negative thoughts. Focus instead on your passions, hopes, and dreams. So while you're on your passion, on your hopes and dreams, um, there is seconding to that emotion, okay? And you second to that emotion because, wow, and I want to pull that out. It says you are never alone. For some of you, you might feel alone. For others of you, it says expand your circle of healing um modalities explore acupuncture chakra balance or reiki okay so with that being said you guys it's telling me that some of you are taking some sort of you know whether it's over-the-counter medicine something to help you get by or something to cover up your true feeling spirit is saying go ahead and you know second that emotion because you're never alone. You're always loved. There is stability around you. Waiting. Okay, so we have divine wisdom, which is a solar plexus. And to me, divine wisdom is all about... Wow. Okay, so to me, divine wisdom is all about... Let's see... Divine wisdom. So we have inner strength. So this is definitely a free will, self-esteem, personal power. Um, and I'm going to read this to you to my best ability if I can find it in here. Wow, okay, so the angels and masters. So this is the uh, soul star chakra. The soul star chakra vibration vibrates to a color gold. So angels and um, masters, uh, divine wisdom, heal, like soul healing, cosmos, light beings, personal guides, creator, and source. So it's basically telling you that... Um, This chakra right here needs to be worked on. We have six and number nine, so there's almost completion, okay? Um, it, r repeat this as you look at this card. It says, I, I am an open channel of divine light from the universe, and I am deeply connected to this pure light of love. Okay, so... So we have divine wisdom. The answers that you seek lie within the chambers of your own heart. Sometimes it can be challenging bypassing those crazy thoughts in your head in order to get to your heart. However, once you get that feeling in your body that everything is just right, you will know you are there. Then it is a matter of trusting the process and it is a grow then it is as it grows stronger to use it just make a muscle. It's your time to flex your heart and listen to a divine wisdom it has to offer. It pulsates through every cell in your being, ready and waiting for your awakening. 
to its calling. So the affirmation is, I am in line to the divine wisdom of the universe and it flows through me abundance. Abundantly. I love that. Okay, so... Knowing where you belong, okay? Following your gut instinct. Um, revealing your true self, okay? Maybe it's time to get back into, you know, retreat and get to know somebody. Maybe you guys have a strong religious factor, okay, where it says, you know, um, your love life is being affected by children. Your love life is influenced by your religious brought, you know, it's like um, the hair font. It's being brought up a certain way, but yet knowing that you have to live by that certain community, that certain way of life. But the divine here is giving you spirits, you know, telling you to second that emotion. It's also a sense of let go of all doubts, fears, and, and negative thoughts. And it's also saying you are never alone, as the otters would be. They always travel together, and they, they're always friendly and loving, okay? There is stability and balance within this connection. And I do feel like, you know, um, your blocks here is definitely to release, okay? To release, and I feel like the star card here is healing, um, whether it is healing from or getting baptized, you know, uh, this is the decision that you have to make. And it's telling you to take your time and be bold. Uh, don't procrastinate, but definitely uh, give thanks and gratitude as you go through the stage. I do feel like your divine partner will meet up with you within time. Um, your divine partner, it's like they... They feel that you, you know, want to just leave or perhaps, you know, they sense an energy of trying to make it work. You know, this is a sense of trying to make it work. So it's definitely going to have time. You guys have to have some sort of time. Give it time. Give it patience. Again, this is a committed relationship. Judgment at the end of the card here. You guys are tied together. together. You have a contract together as well. So remember that. Okay, thank you so much, Pile 2. Okay, we have three here, so we're going to be looking at your relationship in regards to your um, connection here. We're going to be using the Tarot of Dreams. And the High Priestess. Okay, so let's get some good cards here. And I know I should have done this before, you guys bear with me. And most of them are. Okay. Now, I do read reversals. However, if they... Sh I turn them all upright. And if they do, for some reason, come out in a reverse way, I will read it like that. Please keep in mind of your person as I am doing this. Whatever you want to know. You know, ask the tarot to show you what is going on with this person and your connection. How are they feeling towards you? For your highest good, what do you need to know? Spirit guides, guardian angels, this is for everyone who chose the Chariot of Dreams. What is the message coming through, Spirit guides, guardian angels? Spirit guides, guardian angels, what's the message coming through? We want to look at their person, we want to look at their current situation as well as their blocks. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands, which is Aries, um, Sun and Aries. Um, we also have the Chariot in Reverse, waiting on something that is not coming. Okay, this is, I feel like you've been waiting for either three months, three weeks, possibly three days, it doesn't matter, but there is a strong way, and it's like you want to take action, it's like you dream about this, um, but you 
you leave it or they have yeah because this is how they look at the relationship they feel like there's in deception lies um, that you know someone needs to make a decision um, they feel like a very hard self-pity they want someone to come and rescue them that's what I'm hearing can I get a rescue the Emperor in reverse this is someone who's not making a wise decision they're just jumping right on in to a certain situation that is going to leave them hanging and that's possibly why you know they're not with you at this particular time because you know they're definitely learning some hard lessons behind the fact that you know by, behind the fact that they're not making a bold decision especially with the two of swords in reverse um i definitely feel that they have been working on something for far too long and that they need to just pull back okay this man could definitely be in work work related um and just or there is a divine masculine uh who is a king of pentacles that is of of nothing but business and we have a queen of swords over here who's pretty legit and they talk and the way they speak is truthful um, they don't use their intuition however this is a connection that involves um, you know this person isn't waiting around they know what they want and they're gonna come forth and they will tell you exactly how they feel okay uh, they feel that you know they do have a connection but yet you guys have not made any progress and there is a challenge of hope even though this is divinely guided there is a need to um, restore your relationship to bring it back to life here okay um, especially with a transformation Scorpio energies okay so this is for chariot of dreams what does the angels have to say I'm seeing a community um, getting together and speaking one's truth knowing maybe it is that you know you're needing to communicate your truth and speak openly whether it is your friend family member co-worker someone just possibly you don't even know um, yeah so we have a new love coming in this could definitely be a new love it could be a soulmate this person is a soulmate uh, Wow, so forgiving and learning, learn, learning to forgive this person. I feel like this person wasn't too too good to you. However, I do feel like there is someone new coming in. And with that being said, with someone new coming in, I want to pull some cards on that person. Okay, so. Spirit guides, who is this new person coming in? The pile three and this new person this new love is a soulmate who is this new person spirit guides okay someone who is trapped um someone who could be in prison but this is someone who lost their way okay they lost their way you could be speaking to them over the phone over the internet um something about a family room okay something happened us agreement <clears throat> came to terms here this person <clears throat> feels entrapped they feel like they can't leave a situation they feel like it's a long path um and they feel very despair okay um and i feel like something they feel isolated for some reason as well you get in isolation i want to pull new cards i'm sorry just didn't who is this person spirit guys who is this new love coming in that could have been the old energy as well so we have great fortune okay so somebody is definitely okay poverty and then we have toil and labor so there has been someone who is coming into great fortune someone who has been poor possibly their whole entire life okay um, and they've been working, working, working within the community, and now they're stepping into a great fortune. And this great fortune, they feel privileged, okay? They feel this new love, which is the privileged lady. Um, and yes, it is a sense of change here. Not only is it a sense of change, but... I have another message coming in. I don't know why. You guys, let's see what's happening. 
Okay, so let's see what this new love is coming in for this pile. Okay, <clears throat> we did. We said poverty, toil, and labor. I oh, know, um, occupation. I have number eight, number one, and number nine. Anything else coming through for this new person? Okay. We have the main mail and unexpected income. So if you're working, I feel like this new love, I feel like they're going to help you either move or get you to a place where you can, you know, feel comfortable and feeling like this person really wants to help you and take care of you. They have a lot of romantic feelings, but they see a lot of obstacles behind this. But these romantic feelings are not just obstacles. They're just this buck. I think there's a buck in this picture, and this buck knows exactly where he needs to be, okay? I feel like there's a lot of romance around um, obstacles. And this obstacles, it's relating to um, knowing where you want to go, the true path. And that's the Divine Feminine, because... Divine Masculine feels the wisdom, um, which is coming from the moon, okay? And it's strong and fast. Um, this Divine Masculine, he'll, we'll, he will be going through some time, okay? Especially trying to find his way to you. But when he comes to you, he definitely will bring a gift in hand, possibly roses for some. Okay, you guys, so please like, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so very much, Pile 3. Um, if you would like to comment, please do so, and I will get back with you. Thank you. Hello, hello for those of you that chose the fairy um, tarot cards. This reading is going to be for you. So we're going to look at how your person feels in regards of the relationship. So what's going on between you and your significant other? Please keep in mind your person. Spirit guides, guardian angels, what's going on here? So we have the will of fortune. There's work that needs to be finished here, okay? There's some sense that um, divine timing is at work here, but there has to be an ending for a new beginning to come out. There is fixed signs here as well as uh, immutable signs, Sagittarius. We also have a young fires, I mean a young air sign. Um, let's see, we have the seven of autumn and it says have patience and don't worry, take time to rest and plan your next steps. So it's like you, you made an investment, but don't worry, it's saying it will pay off. Just give it some time, okay? Um, make sure there's balance in between there. We have the Ten of Winter. So it's like you're, you're just having to release it and let it go because this year it's not going to happen. Spirit says give it some time, okay? As you intertwine, we have number 21 and number 12. As you inter, uh, intertwine, as you release, you are able to bring in new abundance and new... Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. We have the High Priestess, the Emperor the ace of summers the six of winter and awakening and we have the prince of summers on the bottom hello everyone so if you pick the fairy tarot oracle this is the very last deck okay so this is by Doreen virtue um I'm just, we're gonna look at the current situation and how your partner views the relationship or you know what your blocks are what the situation is we want to see what uh, this person desires. Um, we're going to be looking at your situation around your romantic life with your person that you have on your mind, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, which is Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. I said Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, okay. I'm also getting a sense that um, there's a younger air sign here. There's a sense of wanting communication. Spirit is saying, go ahead, 
this balance will come because what you want is what you desire and there's unfinished work here with the with the world card the world card is in reverse here so something is at play right here i feel like there is a relationship or an emotion here this is about a social event <clears throat> a gathering so possibly at a gathering there is going to be um, someone wants to take you to a gathering here. They feel uncompleted. They want balance. They want some sort of closure. Okay. They're waiting for your reply as well. You uh, could be a fire sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, optimistic, enthusiastic, creative, energetic. So we have someone here who is gentle, sensitive, kind, and inexperienced. And over here we have someone who's very energetic, very kind, very outgoing. This is about a new relationship, and it's time to go after your dreams. So it's telling you, step four, you need to take action. You need to go after your dreams, okay? Because there's unfinished business here. But with unfinished business, it comes with a sense of you know, a sense of pulling back, a sense of withdrawal here. Um, we have the Emperor, which could be the card of Aquarius. I mean, the card of Aries, a fire sign. As he holds the weird world in his hand, he's holding his the heart, the heart of the matter, the heart of the situation here. And it's about having stability. Not only that, it's about wanting it and waiting for it. I feel like this Divine Masculine will wait for it. However, there is a sense with the five of autumns here, it was in reverse. Um, there is a sense of in a current situation where we had the hangman. Okay, it says awakening. This divine masculine is going through an awakening a moment um, at this time. He feels somewhat of needing, somewhat of stability because he hasn't given as much as he had in his past could be a masculine or a feminine. Balance is required here due to the fact that, you know, someone's emotions are definitely in an uproar. They're falling in love all over again. It's like a, this could be a brand new opportunity, but this could also be someone from your past coming back, okay? This is something that you desire, um, or what they desire. They want the ace of cups, they want a new beginning. It says, open your heart to love. The beginning of a new love intimate relationship or a rebirth of a current one the awakening of psychic ability or spiritual epiphanies and we have awaken right here it says change the way you're looking at the situation embrace your uniqueness a temporary phase in the action and then we have unity which is a oneness which is of change but um what is it says do the right thing for the right reason compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works best for you so this is basically being tested over unconditional love and spirit is wanting you to sacrifice something here it's calling you to sacrifice um a sacrifice a sense of it, of yourself to gaining the insight of wisdom and in this card here, it says balance. It says take everyone's input into consideration, even though it sounds bad, whatever, take it all. Merge viewpoints to create a, a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. There's no need to rush into this love. As there's conflict in the past, okay, um, you decide to move on. This is your wish to move on, to let it go. much challenging here is the empress okay we have the emperor here and the empress the empress is in reverse because there she either um there's a lack of trusting into your intuition and trusting that this is the divine feminine also feeling as though there's a sense of untrustworthiness untru here is what i'm getting Spirit guides, guardian angels, what is this? The 
high priestess in a challenging position. So this is a sense of growth. A need to look towards the future. I don't read out the floor, you guys. Okay, so... It's challenging for this person to release the past. They want you to release the past if it's not them. However, uh, that you could be an air sign and you decide to be of a wet, a cold nature so you can put the heart up. This is, you know, the love, the bowl, the cup of love, the chalice. This is that new brand beginning, but yet you, you have to release this energy of the Ten of Swords so that the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups here, which is signifying um, a new birth, peace, balance. It talks about unity. It also talks about a divine masculine too, okay? A divine masculine opening up, okay? What is this unity here? Okay, we have the Four of Wands. We have the, okay. So the Four of Wands talks about uniting, starting, together and making that decision too so there could be a gemini there could also be um a sense of knowing where one belongs on the bottom of the deck here we have the judgment card so the judgment card is relating to a sense of releasing okay um now with these cards here it's it's stating and that there's a decision that has been made it was difficult yes but it definitely helped release or will help release um old uh par paradigms that one has lived okay and this talks about with the will of fortune this talks about it's time for change it's time for new birth it's time that um divine timing take place you can't stay in a position for so long you know um then we have the six of wands which is in the outcome position. It talks about success and victory. Um, it talks about new growth. It talks about a time and change, a time to release, whether you are releasing um, the attachment of a codependency or you are reuniting to a connection here, but you release it and you give it to God. And as you give it to God, this new beginning comes. Okay, but first things first, you have to release this energy. Um, what is the six of winter? So it says positive changes are on the way. A welcome reflect from troubled times, travel, or relocating. So this is about relocating somewhere, waiting, waiting to see the truth beyond um, a matter, waiting to see what your other partner will do, waiting to see what needs to be done in order for this relationship to progress, to proceed, to um, get to a higher knowledge. This is Capricorn energy. This is a lot of fear. This is after a tower moment, releasing that fear, okay? Um, not only is it releasing, but it's a sense of meditation, a sense of knowing one truth, Capricorn, uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. We have someone who is holding back their heart and keeping it knowing that this is not them okay uh feeling trapped this person feels trapped okay with the eight of swords staring back at her she's starting to realize that is not me okay it's just an illusion um especially with the eight of swords thinking heavily okay putting your heart your soul all into it but walking away from that as well and starting to meditate on oneself and one's soul and one's body that's beautiful okay so and i feel like this is the the divine masculine here and the divine feminine here so let's see what the angels say okay so we have a honeymoon um around your connection we also have so for some of you um you guys will meet if you haven't met your person so to say or you know around your connection you will have 
met your person definitely on a vacation somewhere by the water possibly um, offshore maybe in a boat water somewhere you know just a romantic setting knowing that you guys have a uh, connection because you feel this lucky um, you feel this luckiness you feel this vibrating energy that comes from you know look at this party coming here this four of wands here this taking action um, I feel like they will take action to you feeling lucky and feeling romantic with you <clears throat> especially at night I feel like this person will definitely come to you at night okay for some reason this divine masculine has um, an idea or I don't know there look he there is something about this divine feminine here <clears throat> could be married in the community with the official person i'm also looking at at a child's perspective we have a privileged lady um we have the key to success and victory with a child here um needing to look closely at the way money is being made and the growth and also the divine feminine okay so we have a divine masculine and divine feminine here together we also have a growth okay we have a growth in money and finances we also have them feeling lucky in one's romantic ability okay to grow um it's saying look closely at the luck that you guys share okay because not only that it's it's like divine feminine divine feminine divine masculine <clears throat> are very strong and bonded together the feminine holds the i mean the key holds luck and abundance of future uh, of future awareness and money as well and growth it's saying look closely at this at, look closely at it in a perspective so to say that um, people find it a daydreaming or something make sure this is you know basically the real deal okay um, I do feel like this is the official person I do feel like either there is a child involved or you could have a child and they could have a child or you are pregnant okay you could be pregnant as well okay so they desire to basically move towards having you in their in their area possibly having you in their bed in their comfort zone in their well-being okay they want to take care of you they want to move forward with you with the um chariot we also have the three of swords here which is someone playing music to you um watching you admiring you touching you feeling you um communicating to you and very being very successful although there is someone in the background looking here okay with the three of swords their heartache okay um because either this person just runs in and runs out you know but there's harmony between the two there is so much harmony between y'all it brings out the flowers and the nature around them as well as it does uh, their communication as well they're interested in the same things they like um this offers a sense of growth of tying knots of becoming one together um it's very strong energies i love this energy okay spirit guides what is the message for the fairy oh okay so for the group for the last group around their connection you could be dealing with the L and uh you could be dealing with a libra you could be dealing with a leo you could be dealing with a Scorpio or that could be your sign however 
that sign could be in your sign in your birth chart it says help i need somebody help this is the seventh house so the seventh house is also about marriage and partnership but with it being in reverse it's don't feel you have to do everything yourself reach out and ask for help you need so this is about you know releasing your pride and asking other people for help as well because this is a chance for you to take a stand and to take your place in a marriage or partnership <clears throat> that you are very attached to however there is oh very young the answer to your question may involve your child or ch child of someone you know so you could be adopted or you could have adopted a child as well okay we also have ask your guides to help you through this transition there's are no real endings only new beginnings Okay, when your okay when your partner's planet falls in your seventh house, whether it is the zodiac or the house, okay, and the seventh house is the Libra, so you got that. So that would be your partner um, as a significant love interest, one you might even want to marry. So that could be the foundation of the situation. Okay. So the answer to your question may involve a young child here. So we have Leo in reverse. Let's check that out. Out of balance, Leo's natural high levels of confidence. So this is... There's some, there seems to be somewhat um, needing to look at a contract or an agreement, okay, behind um, what doesn't seem to be brought up. There's some sort of contract here is what I'm saying. There's a sense to look at both sides of the situation. That's why the magnifying glass is here, number 44. It's to look at both sides, okay? And once you put yourself in the other person's shoes, you will be able to resolve the matter quickly. Mirror, mirror on the wall. In a relationship reading, the reverse Leo chord may indicate that your partner is suffering from excessive pride or narcissism and then Pluto the circle of life that's the eighth house that is my um, I have Leo in the eighth house of for my true north Okay, that's like an eighth house. Let's see. It says, um, so the eighth house, yeah, obsession can be, um, obsession can be beautiful. Just make sure they're healthy ones at that. So it's really talking about within a relationship. If your plant, if your uh, partner's planets fall in your eighth house, whether it is Scorpio or the sign of Scorpio in like your eleventh house or first house, whatever, okay, and that's your house, um, it will impact you in a powerful way, sometimes unconscious ways, sexual obsession and in 
infatuations or also um, can also be ignited. Shine a light on a taboo subject. Wow, an inspirational card. So this is, you know, infatuation. This is, you know, getting deeper into your sp spirituality, but also getting deeper into the moment. Yeah, so there could be, like, something happening. Like, I'm saying, like, someone could be pregnant as well. Okay, so you guys, if you pick this deck, please like, share, subscribe to this channel as well. Um, if you'd like to donate or a reading, please just contact me and I will get back with you ASCB. Later.